What is going on, Vikings and Draconians? Draco Invictus here with episode 17 of our revisited series here in Valheim. We are on the road to the Mistlands and having a ball doing it. And uh, we are heading over to the forge. I've reworked it just a little bit to make room for the, uh, the blast furnaces and stuff like that. So let's go take a look at what I've done so far. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I did a little bit more work than I let on. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I reworked the forge and uh, so let's come up here and I'll show you guys from the front door. So as we come through here, we got our little cart storage here. And then this is our drop-off box. So if we've got ores and stuff that uh, need to be processed, we drop them off here. And then the, uh, the, the Valheim fairies come along and scoop them all up and put them into the processing boxes. Uh, we come down here. I have my stone cutter buried back behind the pillars. So it's functional, but not in the way. Uh, over here is our forge fully upgraded with all the little accessories and stuff like that we got two blast furnaces in our artisan table and then all of our um our ingots come over here and they're close enough that they can be used by either the workbench or the forge and i wanted to make sure that that was uh taken care of over here we've just got rocks uh coal and then regular wood for the kiln when they need it uh, these three gates will be staying here. This gate goes back to the hub. This goes out into the swamp area. And then this goes to the Sertling farm. This just seems like the logical place to keep this. This gate here is the plains gate. And since we're adventuring in the plains and, you know, if we're wanting to run back quickly, this is where we want to come to. Uh, once we are more established in the plains, then I will put, I will remove the, the gate into the hub as uh, the plains uh, gate there. So all I got to do is finish putting a roof on this thing and do this cool little detail. Um, I thought this looked pretty cool. And uh, so I wanted to do it over on that side, but um, I wanted to wait so I could show you guys. It's fairly simple. But uh, I still wanted to uh, show you. So basically, you take out the floor. And then we're going to grab the pillar and snap the pillar in. Okay. And then we take out this floor and that pillar will snap in. Oh, I, damn it. Did I do it wrong? I think I did it wrong. Am I doing? I think I'm doing. Oh, wait. No, it's I have to, I have to backfill. That's what it is. So, because the pillar needs something to snap on because this is a four by two wall. And so it won't naturally have an edge between everyone. So I can do two at a time. Then I have to like back do these floors or these, whatever you want to call them. So we can take these two out. Do columns. You gonna give me the stone? Yes, of course you're gonna give me the stone. Okay, do that and that. And we actually have to carry this. Well, I say have to. We don't have to do anything. Uh, but we are going to uh, take this all the way to the corner. So let's come down here. And oh, I'm out of range of my stone. That's funny. Let's uh, grab a couple piles of stone. Um, and now it's storing all that wood down there. I love that. That's such a great, cool feature. Just throw your shit on the floor. Someone else will come pick it up. Right? That's how that goes. We're going to put these here and then we're going to take them away, but that's all right. Oh, no, not that one. That one would just be weird to do that. So now we're going to come in here and like I said, <laughs> but we needed 
them in place so that we put this one here and get rid of that and this should snap right there come back in there there and then fall off okay and now here I kick this at an angle right set that on top then come underneath and place it like that and then get rid of this one and then fill this in like that and it's probably not the same and at this point I, yeah it's definitely not the definitely not the same yeah so i i brought this in hmm which one do we like better do we like the go almost all the way to the corner one or the one that goes more shallow i think i like this one better so let's fix this one over here so that it represents that one over there. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Pick up my rocks. That snapped into place. And that one. Oh. Gotta pick up the rocks because we use the shit out of them around here. The ground is shaking. Awesome. Well, this ought to be fun. <laughs> ah, there you are. Come on, but beard, let's go. Okay, that's two down. How many more are we getting? Don't you throw rocks at me. Oops. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, hi there. So. That was cool. Yeah, got us some trophies, some gold. Not that we need more uh, troll skin, but that works. Yeah, I like this better. I don't know that I'm going to put anything else here, but it is what it is. Okay, so this roof is going to be done in three pieces. So down here... These poles are here to denote what's going on, right? Okay, so uh, let's grab this and we're going to go here and we're just going to kind of go down the line and on both sides, um, actually that's not the right height because we have to account for this over here. So I am going to get these roofs done or at least in a better position. And then uh, we'll come back. Uh, we'll do a nice little time lapse here. So enjoy.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I mean, obviously, I got to do lighting and stuff like that, but. And I didn't even have to. Oh, we can close that. But yeah, let's close those up. I want that. I don't know. It just doesn't look right. So let's do the inverted 45s. There and there. And then over here, do the same. much better and get the right angle over here and then fall down I do that a lot fall down that is So I even brought over core wood so that if we had to do like core wood beams and stuff like that, because we had to do it in the last one. Uh, but now nah, this looks cool. I mean, it, we got to do some lights for sure. It's very dark in here, but um, I really, really dig this. So uh, I am going to uh, light this place up a little bit and then we will, um, I want to go hit that village in this episode. So I, and I want you guys to, to obviously, you know, be there. So I'm going to pause this, hang some lighting so that we have time to go hit the village. Let's do that. All right, guys, I didn't go crazy. I just hung some lights and stuff like that and did some trim work. I didn't hang a bunch of banners. It's, it's a work area. So. But, um, yeah, here it is much more lit up. I like the, um, I also like the use of the, uh, core wood with the stone. It just looks really sharp. Um, and I did, uh, these, uh, core wood beams running all the way across. And essentially, uh, those are just, uh, 45 degree beams going halfway through the roof. Let me show you what I mean. This is just half of it, you know? So, uh, let's choose that. And then out here, it actually matches up with the roof. So it doesn't, it doesn't look weird sticking out. It looks like it's intentional, right? Just some additional support and same thing on this side, one there, one there, and then one way down there. And then the same on the far side, but yeah, so now I, I can bring the uh, braziers, the hanging braziers down just a little bit and uh, give it uh, some room up there. So, yeah, that's essentially what we did. So now I want to uh, hit the wrong button again. I love doing that. That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'm going to go get stuff uh, to make a portal uh, to match up with this planes one here and then we are going to go check out that village. So I'll be right back. And we are back. We're going to head out into the wild world. I need to uh, bring my cultivator over here and recultivate this land. But let's see if we can't get some more black metal. And uh, do I have arrows? I have arrows. Okay, good. And it's been a few days, so I could probably collect some more cloud berries too. Nope, they have not respawned yet. Hasn't been that many days, I guess. Oh, as here.
Okay. Let's not bring the entire village over here right now. <laughs> Just saying. So close. All right. Somebody right over here. Is there another guy up there? Oh, there. Oh, he's still alive. Jesus. Not anymore. Got this guy flagging me down. He's gone. just like curb stomped me <laughs> all right i'm gonna get back over here all right guys here i come gotta swoop in grab my crap and then get to a safe spot and put it on uh, -uh they're not too close got it run <gasps> Luckily, the corpse run is almost a minute, I guess. Oh, I can't be a minute. Close. What's this down here? <gasps> Another needle? Well, let's pick that up. Okay, we should be far enough away now. Okay. Still time left on our corpse run. Cool. Run our asses on. Wanna get a couple shots on that berserker? Hey, finally get to see some locks. Hey guys. He can't have much health left. There's another one over there. Is that barley? Nice. He'd be dead. That, oh God, that looks like a totem to me. Oops, who is a one star? Pull you off there, dude. Okay. 
Got that. Yeah, that's definitely a totem there. Uh, yeah, damn, it was the shadow of the seagull. I thought it was a damn Deskido. Oh, nice. He brought it to me. Ooh, just hit that guy in the face. There's a shaman. That was a shaman. Whoa! Damn, Desquito. Snug up and beat me in the ass. Crap. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. I need to bring health meads with me. Shit. Okay. He be dead. Oh, got a Desquito. Oh! Shoots the Desquito out of the midair. Oh, shit, there's multiples of them. That's not what I wanted. Damn it. Yeah, you guys stop back there. Bring in a couple fuelings. Oh, look at you. You're like twinsies. Okay, he's gone. Die already, Jesus. Okay. Whew. Okay. Where'd the berserker go? There's one of them. Yeah, I knew he was a one star. Thought he looked kind of funny. Wooey! Get the hell away. He's gone. 
He's gone. Okay. God damn it. You just can't get in there. Get a hit. Ugh, okay, I'll be back. Alright, guys. Back again. Got all my stuff. We are... Uh, I also brought some... Uh, some frost arrows. Just because I needed to bring more arrows and they were easy to bring. So... He's going... What the hell is that out there? I don't want to know. Okay. Oh, he had a totem too. <gasps> Even better. Did my auto pay my full? Oh yeah. Who got him full? Okay. God, how many more are here? I'm apologizing now for the long episode because I know that it's gonna be long. Trying to flank me, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Look at all the black metal that I'm going to have to carry back. Barley, nice. And the nice thing is, is that we can set up a farm pretty close to uh, the the forge. God, there are still more over here. Got some flax here. Uh, it's not often that you see flax and barley in the same little village, so that's cool. Whoa, 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 come on. Oh, God. Wow, that was the longest stun lock ever. Okay. All right, guys, here we go again. And I was having to skirt around death skeetos and locks and just... It's like everything's getting in the way right now. Um, I have all my auto pickup stuff off. So nothing is getting picked up, which is fine. Because I want no reason. Okay, so if I come at it this way. I think I, the, there's two of them there. I think all three of them are over there. Oh, come on. Please tell me. I, well, I know I got it all. I heard the. I heard it explode. Now I gotta go far enough that I can take the time to equip all that. Whew, I think I made it. Okay. Um. Yeah. I was holding off on using bone mass simply because I, um, I was trying to range the, everybody, this, this village. Whoa. Oh, shit. Come on, you two. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Yes, come here. I'll take you on one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go. Cool. Oh, is right. One more? Yep, that dude. 
Oh no, there's more than one more. Two of them. Oh, three more. Shit. Okay. Whew. He'd be dead. And... He may be dead? Let's see if he dies. Nope. Oh, not even close. Oh, shit. Come here. Ah, uh, he's a one star, that's why. He's gonna take off? I'm so confused. Come back, you little green bastard. You know something I have not seen yet in the plains is a tar pit. Now granted, we just, just got into the plains. Where is he going? Finally. Okay. So, the village is clean. Um, well, no, no, it's filthy right now. Oh, look, a fish, a perch. Yes, that was a totem. So, nice. Three totems in one village. I'll take that all day long. Okay, so I'm not going to keep you guys here any longer. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to leave all the black metal in a chest. I'm going to set up my portal, do all that stuff, portal all the non-metal stuff over, drop it off, and then I'll come back and I'll start hauling all this black metal. So I will catch you guys in the next episode. All right, guys, I'm inserting this. In I've already recorded a bunch of stuff. I did my goodbyes, but I'm inserting this into it because I just wanted to show you guys. I, I went through. There was a locks here. I went to pick up stuff. He came after me. We ran around and I used one of the bonfires to actually uh, damage him. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then I realized you could get like a crap ton of deer hide. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to strip this entire thing. That's not the point of this. This is the point. 59 black metal scrap that I'm going to cart back. Uh, but yeah. So now um, you can continue with your regularly scheduled ending of the program. See ya. If you have any questions, comments, kicks, complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. If you're new around here, think about subscribing, clicking the bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time I post a video. Go live with my Valheim series that I'm doing live. Yeah, I, I do other games, a lot of survival stuff, a lot of building stuff. So check all that out. And until next time, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the best day in my life. See ya.